This is a quick video on how to replace a kick down door stopper. As you can see, this one has been broken off. There's holes below it. That means there's been other ones here in the past. We've replaced this kick down door stopper a few times. Your kick down door stopper will usually come with some mounting hardware. If you're doing a, an installation on a metal door, you don't want to use the screws that come with it because those are made for wooden doors and they'll strip out or break off. The best screw i found to use is a self-driving type screw for sheet metal. Some of the ones that you buy are made for galvanized roofing, so they have this little washer with a ceiling ring built into it. But you can take that ceiling ring off and you're just left with the screw. Um, and that's what I'll be using today. Another advantage of this is that it comes with a hex style uh, nut at the top instead of your regular um, like Phillips bit. So you're less likely to strip the um, bit out or have it slip while you're installing. For installing, I recommend using an impact style um, uh, bit driver. And you can get these from a variety of different manufacturers. I happen to be using DeWalt. The first thing I'm gonna need to do is remove the old door stop mounting hard. It's gonna be tempting to want to use the old holes uh, to uh, secure your new um, door stopper, but if I did that, the door stopper wouldn't touch the ground. Uh, it has a different length than the old or older one. So I just need to position it uh, further down. It does look like the previous model is about the same size. So I'm gonna reuse the holes from the one that was used last time. stop install and a metal door using sheet metal screws thanks